How are we there, guys? And welcome to a little special we've got here. We are joined by Ta Tara Andrews from the Newcastle Jets. Um, we figured we'd try and snag a couple of minutes with her just to see how things are going, obviously, with the women in training, obviously, the two results that we've had so far, and obviously, um, Brisbane on Sunday. Obviously, fixture changes and everything else. How are you, Tara? Good, thanks. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me on again. No, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you for jumping on. Um, we may as well start off, obviously, on a good note. Uh, two games, two goals for yourself. Um, how, have, how have you found the new, I suppose, role and obviously um, responsibility up front? Oh, I think, yeah, obviously two goals in two games is good for a striker. Um, would have liked to have a couple more from a few free kicks that I've had. But, um, yeah, look, it's a good start for me personally. But in terms of the team, probably, yeah, not as not the start we wanted. And obviously we've got a lot of new players. So um, just trying to start working with everyone. And, you know, the combinations up front is a little bit different. But in saying that, I've played with um, a few of the girls at Manly anyway. So we do already have little bit of connection, um, but yeah, hoping that we can build further on that um, in yeah. the next few games and really come home strong. Well, that was going to bring me into my next question, actually, obviously, um, some of the new signings we've got and obviously the fact that a few of them are from down in Sydney way. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect from these um, the girls that have come in? Yeah, so yeah, I think we've got it's like seven or eight um, yeah. Sydney NPL yeah, players, so yeah, they're all um, really good players. A few of them have already played in W League previously. Sonny Franco's obviously played for Brisbane Raw um, in past seasons. Chloe O'Brien's played for Western Sydney. Um, I played in Young Matildas with Alicia Bass as well, and she played college over in America. So we've got some really good players, um, you know, from Sydney, and it's really yeah. competitive at training, and they've really helped us um, so far, and hopefully we can just gel a little bit little bit more and probably be a bit more calm on the ball to keep it and you know try and score some more goals and not let so many in yeah obviously um as you said touch on the two results haven't obviously gone our own way um what do you think what do you think was missing against western sydney oh i think it was you know it was pretty tough against western sydney in terms of we we dominated them in the um the second half and we really should have been able to get you know another goal or two um, in that game. So that was quite frustrating. I think it was just that final pass or that final finish that, that probably let us down in the end because we had a lot of ball in the second half and really should have um, taken advantage of that. And then with West, with um, Sydney FC, you know, they probably played a little bit better than Western Sydney and we might have not had as many chances, but we were quite panicked on the ball, I think. We didn't keep it very well and we just rushed everything. And so... Yeah, I think our passing percentage was very low in that game. And, you know, that doesn't help when you're trying to score goals and get that final pass in and put away a goal. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, the two results obviously not gone our way. How's um, how's Ash been, obviously, the training? Obviously, you know, is she ramping up the training or, you know, still sort of staying the same, calm and the way everything's been previously in the preseason and that? Yeah, I think um, she's obviously um, not super happy that we haven't got any points yet. It, you know, it's not good enough, really. Like, we want to be better than that. So she's she's made that clear that it's it's not where we want to be and it's it's not good enough. We want our standards to be higher. So, But she's staying confident, um, as are all the girls. We're confident and we're, we're ready to, to play Brisbane this weekend and hoping that we can kind of turn things around early enough um, and go with that for the rest of the season. Yeah, obviously talking about um, obviously leading into Brisbane this week. Um, another side that's obviously hasn't gone hasn't been doing that great. Um, I think they've had what three draws so far. Mm. So mm. obviously, yeah, I suppose they've been consistent in that regards. <laughs> but obviously, the results themselves haven't gone lucky. What can we? Um, what can the fans expect? Obviously, on Sunday. Yeah, well, I think yeah, Brisbane are a team that have probably been unlucky with results as well. With the team that they have, I think they've got four or five Matildas or ex-Matildas. So um, they were probably one of the teams to, to beat at the start of the season. But with, with the results they've had so far, I mean, I think they've probably been unlucky. And I think yeah. we, we can expect a pretty tough game on the weekend. They'll, they'll be a quality side. So we just have to be yeah, a bit more calm on the ball and try and play through and, and um, be pretty tough because, yeah, they're going to 
come out um, wanting to win and get those first three points. Absolutely, absolutely. Obviously, um, fixture changes and everything else. I suppose it, it, that's probably, probably the other main one I wanted to touch on. Is obviously how's you know, how's everything going? Obviously, you know it's definitely known that you guys, you know, most of you guys work through the week and everything else. Um, how tough's it been? Obviously, with, you know, fixture changes, midweek, etc. Yeah, it's been a bit difficult. Obviously, not knowing, and you just kind of, you know, the week before, you're like, oh, are we playing this weekend? Do you know who, where are we playing? Who are we playing? You know, what are we doing? So that's a little bit tough in terms of work arrangements. Yeah. But I think so far it's been okay because we've been playing on the weekends, whereas um, a lot of our other games in the standard um, season that they'd put out at the start. We had Thursday night games and that's probably more difficult than now when they put <laughs> all the games on the weekend. So it hasn't been too bad for myself at least. Um, but yeah, it's just hard to try and organise everything. Yeah. Yeah, obviously I think I was talking to Claire um, probably a couple of weeks ago, whatever it was before it sort of got to where it is now and that, and you know, she was dreading the whole, you know, obviously the midweek games and stuff like that. She's just like, yeah. that's fantastic for work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But I suppose, yeah, you guys have been lucky so far, obviously, only getting the weekend ones and stuff like that. But um, have you got anything, Ben, before we wrap up? As I said, guys, we just thought we'd jump in and have a bit of a quick chat, see how things have been going, obviously, at camp. And, um, yeah, obviously, you know, see, see what we can – obviously, hear what we can expect, um, hopefully, this Sunday. So have you got anything, Ben? Uh, yeah, I've got um, – of all the players that are currently playing in the, in the Jets W League side, who do you think is going to be the one to watch this year? Uh... I would have to say, um, we call her Minnie, but Brianna Policina, I can't even say her last name properly, Policina. Um, she's really tidy on the ball at number 10 yeah. role there. So I think um, myself and her can have a lot of good combination play and she will um, she can shoot and she can play those deadly passes that we need. So, um, yeah, I think she'll be one to watch. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, well, that's all that I really had. <laughs> probably the last one I've got is obviously, where do you think... Um, what do you think needs to be strengthened, obviously, after the last two games leading into this one? Oh, I think we need to just be able to keep the ball all over the park. So just coming out of defence, I think a lot of the time we, we probably run away from the ball too much. So I think, yep. um, you know, just trying to come back, get the ball, keep it, not rush it forward if people are just running. Yep. Um, so, yeah, probably just keep it a bit more and then try and play possession. through teams. Yeah, keep possession and then kind of build up the play yeah. rather than just knocking it forward. I was going to say, that's literally, from what I've, from what I've seen, obviously, the last two games, it's, there's a lot of, obviously, over the tops, there's a lot of, yep. you know, through balls into nothingness, mm -hmm. um, especially into that final third, obviously, I think there was a couple of times, um, you know, a few of the players, obviously, just, you know, hoping, I suppose, expecting, yeah. obviously, a lot from you. <laughs> <laughs> Up front, just, yeah, go chase that. Um, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it's, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, from a fan's point of view, for me, watching it, obviously, um, just, yeah, a bit, bit more, Bit more um, confidence, I suppose, in yeah. in their self. Um, you know, obviously, just holding up the play, waiting, communication, I suppose. But um, but yeah, no, honestly, um, th thanks heaps for jumping on. Um, you know, at short notice, obviously, really quickly, just uh, have a bit of a chat. It's all good. Thanks for having me. No worries. Be sure to go check them out, guys. Obviously, they are the feature, the feature match on um, Sunday. <laughs> obviously, the boys play at four o'clock thereabouts, and then the girls after that. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys stick around, cheer on the girls, obviously, hopefully first win of many, um, and, um, yeah, start climbing that ladder from the bottom, obviously. Yep, Thank you very much. Plan. That's exactly it. <laughs> no worries. Thanks heaps for um, jumping on, Tara. Much no appreciate it. No worries. Thank you. Take it easy. No, thank right. you. See ya. Bye. There we have it, guys. Thank you very much to Tara um, for jumping on at short notice to obviously give us a little bit of insight into what's been going on at training and obviously what we can expect hopefully come this Sunday night. Um, yeah, as we said, guys, from obviously the fixtures we've seen in the W League recently, um, it's been pretty, you know, pretty much camber of um, one-way traffic. They've um, they've played, they've looked pretty tidy. I think it was um, the ex Aussie. Um, I can't remember Michelle that. Heyman. Michelle Heyman, yeah. Um, I think it was a hat-trick in the first game back, obviously. I think it was out of retirement. Yes, it was well, out I of think, retirement. I think, yeah, she'd pretty much given the game away sort of thing for whatever reasons and um, obviously decided to c come back and obviously probably probably a good thing she did. She's looking pretty red-hot at the moment, so hopefully hopefully we, Tara can chase her down in the goal tally. She's got 
a few to go, but obviously now she's scored in both games. I think she's played. Um, but yeah, as I said, guys, a quick, obviously, chat in regards to see how things are going in the W League. We will be chatting with Lucas um, Moragas, obviously, today. Obviously, this will be coming out, obviously, Friday morning. Um, so we'll speak to him on Friday night and hopefully get that out over the weekend for you guys to listen to, just to obviously touch base again with the men, see what they've been doing. See our training's ramping up for, obviously, the fixture against MacArthur on Sunday as well before the women. Um, other than that, guys, it is much really appreciated. Thank you for listening. Be sure to go subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, give us a like on Facebook as well. Other than that, we will catch you guys real soon. Take it easy. And as always, we hate. Coast scum.